quite a lot of water loss for Southern Community. You know, I've seen that lake. I've been there. It is a beautiful little waterway. You walk along the lake, and, and now it's gone. Yeah. A million gallons of water. Yeah, well, need some repairs. Well, we had some uh, water falling today from the sky. It's the first time we've had any real significant rain here in the Salt Lake Valley since about June 17th. But most reports have been uh, about a tenth of an inch to 15 hundredths, although we've had a report of as much as eight tenths of an inch around Monticello. We've had some flash flooding in some areas of southern Utah, but that's what it looked like from the Shiners Hospital. Right up there on the high UN is what beautiful pictures of the Salt Lake Valley. Okay, let's take a look at another picture. This was taken on the 16th of, of this month. So it's a couple of days old, but this is emerald. So there's still a little bit of ice on the lake. We want to thank Ben Shee for sending a picture of the beautiful area up there below Timpanogos Peak. Now we are back up to 93 after we dropped to 81 when the thunderstorms rolled through. It's 79 in Vernal, but there's a big thunderstorm rolling into the Vernal area. I want to show you a couple of areas of concern. First of all, this particular group, grouping of thunderstorms moving through Gray's Canyon and over towards the, uh, uh, well, it's been Castledale and Huntington and Farron and over the San Rafael Swell. These thunderstorms are losing intensity, but the one in the Uinta Basin, this one right here, Look where it starts. We've had 100 lightning strikes in 10 minutes as this thunderstorm rolled through places like White Rocks and over towards the uh, Vernal area. We're, this is almost on top of Yellow Hill right now. You can see the uh, Staniker Lake area, La Pointe, Tridel, White Rocks been hit hard. This thing is moving right into Vernal. So folks, it's had a history of producing large hail and very, very heavy rain. Showers and thunder showers that move through the Salt Lake Valley have now kind of moved into Park City, and so we're not seeing nearly the amount of rain in the Salt Lake area, and it looks like most of the thunderstorm activity is over with for now along the Wasatch Front. 97 the high in Salt Lake City today, 109 Vegas. It was 106 in St. George today, so a very hot day. And then the thunderstorms rolled in, and we saw some heavy rain and occasional lightning, severe lightning in a few cases, dangerous. You don't want to be outside in the lightning and uh, certainly don't want to be a lightning rod. Jet stream bring in slightly drier air tomorrow. It'll moisten up a little bit across the south on Friday. We'll see dry air here in the north, but hot. Temperatures like 91 in Vernal, still a chance, a slight chance for th that big thunderstorm in the next hour or two. It'll move away. Tomorrow's a better day. We'll still see a slight chance, though, for some thunderstorms across southern Utah. Very isolated in the mountains and across the south. 102 in St. George tomorrow and about 100 on Friday. 106, 107, hot weekend with more thunderstorms possible Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. And for the Wasatch Front, we're going to have a cooler, nicer day. Still a real slight chance for a thunderstorm tomorrow, mainly near and over the mountains. 93 tomorrow, 95 on Friday, and here we go. This is Saturday, 98 degrees, folks. It's the hottest day of the next seven days, and it happens to be a holiday. Then next week, we'll look for a slightly cooler and a chance for a few more of those monsoonal thunderstorms Tuesday and Wednesday. Looks good. Thank you, Dan. You are welcome. And we'll be right back.